Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by Capgemini. The candidate had around three years of experience working as a Java developer and apart from Java, he was having knowledge about writing REST APIs, Spring Boot and basics of microservices as well. Okay, so when he was selected, he was offered a CTC of 12 LPA. Now let me tell you what was the problem statement and how to solve it. So when he solved this problem statement, and answered most of the questions he was selected and he was offered a CPC of 12 LPA. So this is going to be the problem statement which was asked in the interview. So you can see he was asked to find the count of employees with more than 20 years of experience from each department using Java at Stream APIs. Okay, so he was given an employee class. That employee class had fields like name, department and number of years of experience. And then he was asked to find employees whose experience is more than 20 years from each department. So here you can see I have declared a list of employees and in this list I'm going to find employees from each department whose experience is more than 20 years or I'm just going to count and print that count. So here you can see from finance department there are two employees, uh, one employee whose experience is more than 20 years. Then from HR department there are two employees but only one employee has experience more than 20 years. And from IT department, there are two employees, but there is only one employee whose experience is more than 20 years. Okay, so let's get started and see how to solve this using Java stream APIs. So here you can see I have written a class employee and inside that I have written three fields named department and experience in years. Now let me generate get setters to get and set the employee details and then we'll generate constructor to create the values for the employee fields. Okay, so here I'm going to use generate get setters. Select all the fields and then click on generate get setters. Next thing is I'm going to use generate constructor using fields. So I'll get a constructor with all the fields and then I'm going to copy the same constructor. I will paste it here and I remove all the fields to get the default constructor. Okay, so now I'm done with the generating get setters and constructor. Basically done with the employee class. Next thing is I need to create the employee class. Uh, sorry, I need to create the list of employees and then <coughs> find the employees whose age is or experience is more than 20 years. Okay, so here you can see I have written a class, employee clown count, and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for our programming. Next thing is I need to declare a list of employees. So I'm going to use list from java.util and this list is going to hold the employees. So I'm going to make it of type employee. Okay. So I'll declare a variable to hold this list and I'm going to use arrays dot as list to initialize this list with the employees details. So I'm going to copy the list of employees from the problem statement and paste it here. Okay. So I pasted the list. Now I got the list of employees. Next thing is I need to count employees with more than 20 years of experience from each department. Okay, so what I will do, I will use stream APIs to use stream APIs. I have to convert this list into streams. So I'm going to use stream function to convert this list into a stream. Next thing is I need to filter the employees by their age or experience. So here I'm going to use filter and this filter is I'm going to give me the employees whose experience is more than 20 years. Okay, so here I'm going to use emp dot get experience in years and this experience in years should be more than 20. So this will give me all the employees whose experience is more than 20 years. Next thing is I need to find the employees count from each department. So I'm going to use collectors dot grouping by function this takes a parameter which is a classifier so i need to mention here by which field i need to group the employees so here i'm going to mention employee dot get department so this is method reference operator this is used to access this get department method so this will group the employees by department and next thing is i need to find the count of such employees so I'm going to use again, there is a method in collectors class, collectors dot counting. So this will give me the count 
of employees from each department. Okay. Now I'm done with this. So this will return me a map of type string from a log because this department is of type string and this count will be of type long. So let me declare a variable which will be used to store this employees data. So this is going to be map. Okay, now I got the map of all such employees whose age experience is more than 20 years. Okay, next thing is I need to print these details. What I will do, I'll simply use map dot forest method to print the details. Here I'm going to use department and count. Let me copy this in a bracket and use lambda expression to print the details okay so here i'm going to use system dot out dot println and i'm going to pass here as department department will be my department and then i'm going to use count as uh, here i will mention employees count Okay, now let me run this code and see what is the output. So here you can see department is finance and employees count is one. Department is HR, employees count is one. Department is IT and the employees count is one, which is as expected. So we are getting the output, which is as expected. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice lab at the rate gmail.com.